And uh, getting set to start this second half of play. You know what? I should give you the upcoming schedule for the ORU Golden Eagles. I mentioned earlier, but I'll mention again, after tonight's match, ORU will be playing here at home against St. Thomas this coming Wednesday night, the 19th. And this is the makeup or the rescheduled game. This game was canceled or postponed following the death of uh, Eugene Quaynor. And it was to be played the, uh, the Saturday just two days after Quaynor's death. So the team decided to take a pause in the schedule and reschedule this match for this coming Wednesday evening. And that'll be Wednesday evening at 7. This is coming up the 19th, this coming Wednesday. And there will be um, a tandem, a, a duo of announcers to uh, fill in for me on Wednesday night. And I'm, I wish I wouldn't have to miss the match, but my day business calls and we have an evening event that I cannot get out of. So this Wednesday night, the broadcast will be carried by Wes Brandstetter, the assistant coach of the women's team and the head coach, Austin Reisenhoover, will be doing the broadcast this coming Wednesday. And then the Golden Eagles will be back home again next Saturday against Omaha. So a week from today, we will celebrate my birthday with the Golden Eagles against Omaha. How's that? On Saturday the 22nd, and that'll be a 7 o'clock start time here at the K Soccer Complex. So that's the upcoming schedule. We're underway with the second half of play. Patel gets the ball, drops it back to Costi, and the Golden Eagles have control right now. Played ahead. I'll tell you what, if Harris had gotten that ball, he would have been offside. Now they play it out wide to the left to Shane Anderson. Anderson on the run, down to the end line. Has control, puts it in front. Caught by the keeper, Chad Smith, there as it was on its way in. And he's able to catch that ball. And Smith holding on to it. Waiting for his team to push up a bit. Now he will drop kick that one. And uh, really didn't matter where his team was because he kicked it out of bounds over the sideline on the near side. And ORU will have the throw in. Andrew Nunez gets it into Ladera. Back to Nunez. So it looks like most of the team that ended the first half is out there starting the second half. Basically the lineup that was playing at the end of the half is starting this half. Dominguez. Across the back line. Renteria sends it out on the left side and played ahead. And not entire I'm not in that's not entirely accurate. It, I'm just saying most of. Because I see there's some differences in the defender line. Mimi is back in there. And well, for the most part, it's pretty much the, the lineup that ended the first half. Smith. Well, take the uh, free kick on the foul called by, uh, called against the Golden Eagles. Ladera with the head. Now the Panthers get it on the far side. Mimi. And a pushing foul called against the Panthers. It'll be a free kick for ORU. Schneider Mimi puts it in play to Ladera. Now they swing it over on the right side for Andrew Nunez. Patel to Dominguez, out to Nunez on the, le on the right. To Patel. Renteria. Now he plays it ahead. Harris to Ladera. Dominguez to Nunez. Nunez with it, Nick Ladera. Dominguez to Mimi. Good movement of the ball right now by the Golden Eagles. This is good, moving the ball a lot, changing the sides, just trying to keep control of the ball, but here they lost it. And the Panthers on the counterattack, headed away by Nunez, good play there. Now Ladera gets it.
Cross to the middle. A header. Count it good. No, he's offside. D'Agostini was offside. Looked good. <laughs> it was pretty, but unfortunately he was offside. And now the Panthers get it. Played ahead on the right side. Mimi fighting for it there, gets the ball away, and the Golden Eagles recover. Five minutes gone here in the second half of play, and the Golden Eagles with a 5-1 lead. They'll drop it back to their keeper, Smith. He's getting some pressure from Harris. Gets the pass away to Salopec. And now over on the right side, Sabu. Plays it ahead. Eccles, Sam Eccles. Pass ahead, and he's offside. That was Okany, Prince Okany offside on the way in. Okany from Cincinnati, Ohio, went to San Z San St. Xavier High School in Cincinnati. Nunez on the near side. Nunez. Knocked away by the Panthers. Salopec gets it near side. Salopec. Looking for an open pass. Drops it back to his defender. That is Bruce, William Bruce. Now they play it ahead for Hamler. Out on the left side, that's Reynolds, McReynolds, Micah McReynolds. Into the ORU zone. Julian Smith. And the ball goes down near the end line, and Patel will play it out over the sideline for a Eastern Illinois throw-in. Coming over to take the throw-in will be Micah McReynolds. He throws it in quickly. Oh, boy. One player running over another player. And it's going to be a corner kick for the Panthers there in that Left corner, Chad Hamler is going to take the corner. And he takes a short corner to Salopec, who puts it into the penalty area, headed away. And the Golden Eagles recover and will bring it out. Salopec, however, steals that bouncing ball away. Salopec deflected by Harris. Dominguez settles it, and the Golden Eagles work it out to Mimi. Nice triangle passes here by the Golden Eagles. Now a little give and go with Mimi and Anderson. Drop pass. Out wide. Again, Anderson and Mimi. The ball is knocked away. It goes over the sideline. It'll be a throw in for ORU. And now deflected out of play over the end line and a corner kick for the Golden Eagles. So the fourth corner kick of the match for ORU will be taken in the far corner. And on the ball will be Shane Anderson. Anderson, a redshirt junior from Frisco, Texas. Frisco, Texas, just north of Dallas. Anderson, knocked away. Mimi will recover the ball to Nunez in the center circle. Out to the right side. Medina. Medina and Bratcher. Jack Bratcher, by the way, is a new player that did not play in the first half but started the second half here. That's number 12, Jack Bratcher, a sophomore from Sand Springs, the suburb of Tulsa. Played the ball into the middle, and it's knocked away. Salopec clears it out for the Panthers. Coming back to get the ball is Eccles. Now booted ahead by Chad Hamler, and off Patel and out of bounds. Throw in for the Panthers. Yes. 
Salapek chops at it, the ball in the air. Ladera steals it away. Ladera is getting pulled. And there's a foul. Ladera will have the free kick. Salapek pulling on Ladera's jersey. Jocelyn Patel will take the kick now. Puts it in play to Nunez. Out wide to Bratcher. Cross, headed away, out of bounds, and a corner for the Golden Eagles. Corner kick number five in the match for ORU. If you've heard any of the women's broadcasts, maybe even any of these men's broadcasts in the past, you'll know that I, I fully believe that a corner kick is a goal-scoring opportunity. This is their fifth, right? Jarrett, our fifth, ORU's fifth corner? Because I just said fourth a minute ago. And uh, we had something there. I think an offside was called, but not sure. Because the AR did not put his, hand, his flag up, but the center referee called something. But nonetheless, it'll be a free kick for the keeper right on the top of the goal area at the six-yard line. And that went off the back of the Golden Eagles Bratcher. Now to Anderson. Anderson gets away from a couple of defenders. Salapek steals the ball. Now played ahead. Patel gets ahead on it, but it goes to the streaking Sam Eccles. Eccles in on goal, and it goes deflected wide of the goal. And it'll be a goal kick for the Golden Eagles. Nunez with it here. Now to Ladera. Cleared away. Two players go up for that one. And the Golden Eagles are able to recover the ball. It's Dominguez with it to Nunez. Bratcher. Nunez will drop it back to Patel. Back to Patel. Dominguez, now to Ladera. Out to Nunez. You probably heard Nunez calling for it as he ran by our one of our field microphones. Over to Mimi. Schneider Mimi ahead to Harris. Into the corner for Mimi. Nice give and go. Mimi with a cross in front on the foot of Bratcher. Off the post. Nunez gets it. Nunez tries. That's deflected by Salapek. That's a corner for the Golden Eagles, and it'll be their sixth corner of the match. ORU had three corner kicks in the first half and already three here in the second half. So the Golden Eagles now with a short corner. Now to Anderson. Anderson in front, and it's kick, uh, headed away to the far side. Now back to Ladera on the right corner. Ladera bothered there by Micah McReynolds, and McReynolds kicks it out of play. And the ball on the near side. Nick Ladera puts it toward the goal. Headed away by a defender. Golden Eagles will keep it in there. Play it out near side to Nunez. Now Ladera crosses the field to the far side. Mimi. Mimi sends it to the center of the penalty area. Headed away. Ladera will settle it. Out to Nunez, Nunez on the run, puts the ball in front, but it goes too hard, too far, and out to the far sideline. And a throw in for the Panthers with 31 minutes left to play in the second half. <clears throat> so 
Snyder Mimi fighting for the ball there. And it'll be a foul on Mimi and a free kick for the Panthers. <coughs> Pass ahead, Nunez breaks it up. On the near sideline, Nunez holding off Nick Reynolds. Bratcher gets it. Now to Ladera. Nick Ladera. Bratcher. Over to Anderson. Anderson. And. Off the foot of, uh, who was that, Medina and out of play. <laughs> Eastern Illinois substitutions, number seven, Manir Shirali, number 17, Lasigo Maloma, and number 20, Casey Wellage. Dominguez to Nunez and over to Mimi. So three fresh players in there now for the Panthers of Eastern Illinois. Golden Eagles will have it. Reset in the defender line. Across the field to Nunez. He'll drop it to Patel. Sends it back to the keeper, Costi. Played ahead. And one of the Golden Eagles fouled there. That was Shane Anderson that was fouled from behind. Nunez will get the ball near side for ORU. Medina. Felipe Medina sends it ahead to Anderson. Anderson gets it off the keeper and went off a defender who made the block there in front. That was William Bruce and a corner kick for the Golden Eagles. And uh, by my count, this should be seven for ORU on the corner kicks. <coughs> Coming in for ORU is number 32. That'll be Kyle oh, Carey. Kyle Carey coming in for ORU. Mimi with the ball. Pass in front, loose ball. Patel with a shot looking for his third and a hat trick, but it went over the goal. Goal kick. Harris with some pressure there. And the Golden Eagles get the ball with this pressure, Ladera. Harris in the corner. Harris on the left side. Damani Harris gives it to Ladera. Back to Harris. Outside to Mimi. Schneider Mimi puts it in toward the goal. Off a couple of heads there and now on the foot of Bratcher and out of play. <clears throat> so another goal kick coming for the Panthers. Far side, it's stolen away. Back come the Golden Eagles. Harris on the run, and a foul on the way in, and that was called on Harris, so the Panthers will have the free kick there at the top of the penalty area. And three players there together. Foul on ORU and the free kick, <coughs> excuse me, for the Panthers. And 
deflected into the air and out of play. And off the Golden Eagles, so that'll be a corner kick. So a corner kick for the Panthers in the far corner. Taking the corner kick will be Chad Hamler. High in the air, little header there. Recovered by Malamo on the near side. The Sega Malamo. The Sego Malamo, pardon me, the Sego Malamo. And they'll drop it back. And the Golden Eagles will steal that one away. Now it's picked off of Shane Anderson's foot. Played ahead by the Panthers. Now out to the left wing. Eccles. Fans want a handball there. No call. Bratcher with it in the corner. Patel will get it. Jack Bratcher still with the ball. Pass in the middle. Ladera gives it ahead to Harris. Harris with a shot wide. <coughs> and now on the goal kick, the Golden Eagles will bring in a couple of players. Number 21, Nathan Nadumba. And number 23, Jose Estrada. Estrada and Nandumba coming in for the Golden Eagles. Pass out to the left. Ball goes out of play. It'll be a throw in for ORU on the far sideline. Drop it back, Dominguez. Now to Renteria on the right side. Renteria puts it toward the goal. Off the head of a defender and caught by the keeper, Chad Smith. Good jump for Chad Smith. I think he was out of the penalty area when he kicked that ball when he dropped it. I think he went, there was an infraction that wasn't called there. Renteria gets the ball. Plays it up to the line on the near side. And it'll be a throw in for the Golden Eagles. Renteria looking for an open man. Gains five yards on the walk. Now 10 yards before the throw. And he gets it into Shane Anderson. Pass into the middle. Here's a shot. Count it good! Goal! by Kyle Carey. Carey just into the match and he gets a goal. Kyle Carey with the goal for the Golden Eagles. I believe that's his first of the season. And Carey is on the board putting the Golden Eagles up 6-1. to one. So I believe the pass came from Shane Anderson, if I'm not mistaken. And Kyle Carey with his first of the year. Uh, I believe assisted by Shane Anderson. And Anderson gets another assist here in this one, his second assist of the match. Carey's goal assisted by number 17, Shane Anderson. And Golden Eagles up six to one here in this one. Adrian Renteria, thank you. All right, so Anderson and Renteria with assists. And 
And now the Panthers get the ball away. They will drop it back and reset. So Anderson with his second assist of the match, fifth assist of the season, and we've got an offside. Yeah. Also, yeah. The question up here in the press box was whether or not the throw-in would be an assist, and the throw-in is an assist because that person who threw the ball in set the play, and if you throw it into immediately to a goal scorer and the guy scores, then, of course, you get the assist on the throw-in, just like a corner kick or really anything else, basically. But who's coming in? So checking in for the Golden Eagles will be number 20. That'll be Matt McLaws. Checking in for ORU, number 20, Matt McLaws. Wow. Did you hear that screaming? His favorite fan is here, I can tell you that. McLaws' favorite fan has shown up tonight. She was screaming the fact that he came into the match. Um, All right. Bratcher with it. 20 minutes left to play here in the second half, and the Golden Eagles with a 6-1 lead. Now in the middle. Dominguez puts it out wide to Renteria on the near side. Renteria on the right wing. Back to Dominguez. Played ahead to Anderson. No call there. And the Panthers get the ball away. On the left, Sam Eccles. He plays it ahead. Allen, no, not that's not Allen, that's, uh, pardon me, Malamo. To Eccles, now in the middle. Back out to Shirali. Manir Shirali drops the pass. Nick Reynolds, and it's intercepted. Anderson takes it away. Anderson has a player in front of him. Passes a nice dish there to Estrada. Jose Estrada, left side of the penalty area. Puts it in the middle. A shot off the left foot. And a save by the keeper. Taking that shot for the Golden Eagles was Kyle Carey, who just scored. He was looking for number two. Now the keeper will boot it away and get it over the halfway line. Patel. Bratcher. Carey. Carey gets a hip check there after he got rid of the ball. Kyle Carey goes down hurt. <clears throat> Free kick for the Golden Eagles. Dominguez will take the free kick for ORU with 18 minutes left on the clock in this second half, and ORU with the 6-1 lead. Out wide on the left. Played into the penalty area, and the Panthers get it away. Up, oh, sent back in, off ahead, and deflected out of play, and it'll be a goal kick for Eastern Illinois. Panthers have some subs. Uh, 24, Jude Spallinger. And 29, Adrian Lechuga checking in for Eastern Illinois. And now the goal kick coming up for Chad Smith. And uh, Panthers had it momentarily. Loose ball picked up by Anderson. He'll drop it back, back to Patel. Now to Dominguez. A 
Over to the far side. Golden Eagles played it ahead. Jose Estrada battling for it. Gets it free. And, and now over the sideline on the far side, a throw in for the Panthers. is going to sub on their next opportunity. Two players waiting to come in. Ball in the middle. Carried by Adrian Lechuga. And bad pass there by the Panthers. Golden Eagles are able to recover. Patel to Dominguez. Dominguez in the center circle. Plays it out wide to Bratcher on the right side. Bratcher looking for help, gives it to Renteria. He has one man to beat, to Bratcher. Bratcher turns the corner, cross in front, a shot, nice shot there by Carey, and caught by the keeper. Kyle Carey looking for his second here. Back come the Panthers. On the run is Lechuga. He delivers it ahead. Spallinger. Has it poked away by Patel, and now it goes out of bounds over the end line. And that'll be a corner kick for the Panthers. All right, the Panthers with the ball after their corner. Try to put it in the middle. And it's headed away. Shot toward the goal way high and out of play. That was the fifth corner kick of the match for the Panthers. ORU with seven here thus far. And we're down to 14 and a half minutes left to play in this second half. Shots on goal, ORU with 11 shots on goal. And Panthers with two shots on goal. Total shots, ORU 24. The Panthers with six. Coming in for the Golden Eagles now. Number 13, Damani Harris. And number 18, Greg Lopez checking in for ORU. Harris and Lopez now into the lineup. Patel with the ball. Plays it ahead. Harris. Harris gets bumped off the ball. And a drop pass there by Sabu to his uh, keeper. Patel with a big head. And Carey. And Harris, and now it's on the ground. Sabu knocks it away, and he'll play it out for the Panthers. Over to the far side. Wellage plays it ahead. It goes out of bounds off the key, off the uh, uh, Eat Golden Eagles. Throw in for the Panthers. Wellage has it knocked away, and the Golden Eagles steal it. Or you cleared away, but it went out of bounds, and it'll be another throw in for Eastern Illinois. Don't forget the next match for the Golden Eagles will be coming up this Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock, as ORU will host St. Thomas here at the K Soccer Complex at 7 o'clock this coming Wednesday, and we'll have that broadcast here on the ORU Sports Network for you. Renteria to throw it in. Carey gets it, Kyle Carey. Now drop pass. Lopez plays it over to the left side. Out wide to the right to Renteria. Adrian Renteria bounced off of him. Ball got away. Patel comes over to help out. Patel looking for a pass. Good one in there to carry. And uh, he thought Bratcher was going to cut, but he didn't. And the Panthers are able to. Panthers are able to play it away to the far side. Wellage. And they play it on the far sideline. 
throw in throw in for uh, Eastern Illinois, and they've got subs waiting. Okay, now the subs will come in. So checking in for Eastern Illinois, number 18, Jack Miller. 27, Jared Canejo. So Miller and Canejo checking in for the Panthers during that throw-in opportunity. Patel clears it away. He gets run into. No call. And uh, uh, Carey gets to the ball. Excuse me, Estrada gets to the ball. Jose Estrada. And now it's played away by the Panthers. Patel is pulled down from behind. No call as he was going for that ball. He was grabbed from behind by Jade Spallinger. And the center ref, Mike, Michael Cap did not see that. Loose ball in the middle, and the Panthers get it. In the middle here, Adrian Lechuga. Now they'll drop it back to the keeper, Miller. Excuse me, Chad Smith, pardon me. Smith gives it away. Turned it around. Near midfield, Shirali couldn't play it. Now the Golden Eagles recover the ball to the far side. Under 10 minutes left to go here in the second half. Golden Eagles with a 6-1 lead. They'll play it out to Renteria on the near side. Adrian Renteria cross toward the goal, but it goes wide and out over the end line and a goal kick coming up. Goal kick. For Smith, he sends everybody up, pushes his team up, kicks that ball into the, well, not much of a wind, really. There was a wind earlier in the first half, but not much of a wind now. We had a pretty stiff north wind earlier in this game. However, right now it's pretty calm out there. It must be the calm before the storm because we're expecting some weather to come in this evening later on. And... Uh, Slide tackled out of bounds by Bratcher. Throw in for the Panthers. Panthers get it. That's Shirali. Crosses the field with the ball to the far side. And the Panthers lose control of the ball. Throw in for ORU. In the middle, out of Bratcher. Out to the right side, Renteria. One man in front of him to beat. Gives it to Bratcher. Bratcher stopped by the defender. Ball taken away and played out. Right there is Maloma. He gets it to his teammate. And the Golden Eagles recover. We'll drop it back. Patel with the ball. Now to Dominguez on the far side. Dominguez leaves it there for Lopez. Now they switch it over to Renteria. Back in the middle to Lopez. On the ball, that's Estrada. And cleared away. Patel is taken down in the back in the penalty area. Here's a shot toward the goal, and that went over the net, hit the fence, and bounced off the back of the net. To some fans, it might have looked like that was a goal, but it was not. It was over the goal. And a sub coming in for Eastern Illinois will be number four. That will be Ishmael St. Pierre. Ishmael St. Pierre from Quebec. 
He is from Condiac, Quebec, Canada. We had an offside called against ORU. So a free kick coming for Eastern Illinois. I have no idea where Condiac, Quebec is. I've been to Quebec a few times. To Montreal and Quebec City. And Trois-Rivières and some of that area, but uh, not uh, Condiac. On the ball on the far side, Golden Eagles send it ahead to Harris. Harris, and he's, wait a minute. He was offside there, but he got the ball back here. The, he, was, the, he was back here when the pass was made. I'm not exactly sure about that offside positioning there. Eastern Illinois with it. Shirali in the circle. Sends it out to the right side. And the ball taken away by the Golden Eagles. Harris on the run. Harris down to the left side. Cross to the middle. Renteria with a header. Ball bounces in front. Headed away. And over the end line, it'll be a corner kick for the Golden Eagles. So yet another corner for ORU, and by my count, I believe that's their eighth corner kick of the match. With five minutes left to play here in the second half. Going over to take the corner for ORU. Uh, I believe that was 32, right? Kyle Carey will take the corner for the Golden Eagles. In the middle, header over the goal. Goal kick coming. Interestingly enough, he didn't put the ball right on the six yard line for this goal kick. It's probably about two yards in from the line, but nonetheless. And a foul on the Golden Eagles. That was Greg Lopez over the back of a player on that header. So the Panthers with a free kick out at the halfway line. Harris comes over, bumps the ball away. Harris, nice play here, good ball into some space. Harris with it, crosses to the middle, headed away. And the Panthers are able to clear it away. Shirali gets it. Now out on the left wing, Lechuga. Ball taken by Bratcher, Jack Bratcher in the middle. Bratcher, and the keeper comes out and is able to cover that one. Under three and a half minutes left to play in this second half. Or you sitting on a 6-1 lead. Patel off his head. Julian Smith, and the Golden Eagles take it away. Now Lopez sends it over on the near side, Renteria. Renteria leaves it for Bratcher. Bratcher, double team, hip check, and a foul. Bratcher gets fouled there and a free kick for the Golden Eagles to the right of the penalty area with just about two minutes left to go here. I mean, two and a half minutes left to go here in this second half. Let's see. Uh, taking the kick. I believe it's Carey. Uh, well, I can't see his number, but I believe that's number 32, Kyle Carey. That'll take the, uh, it is, that'll take the free kick for ORU. Kyle Carey, a redshirt senior from Rancho Santa Margarita, California. And the keeper, Smith, gets it. Under two minutes now left to go. Out wide, Lechuga. In the middle, 
Miller sends it over to Sabu. They play it ahead. Corneo gets it. Now wide to the wing. And the Golden Eagles steal it away. Played ahead to Damani Harris. Damani Harris gets to it first. However, it goes out of bounds, and it'll be a throw-in for the Eastern Illinois Panthers. And they'll throw it in on the far sideline with a minute remaining here in this second half of play. One minute, one minute remaining. Panthers, nice pass there on the right side. However, it's knocked away by Dominguez and the Golden Eagles. Had it for a moment. Slide tackled out of bounds on the far side and it'll be a throw in again for Eastern Illinois. Now cleared away by ORU. 30 seconds left to go. Harris. Bratcher. Bratcher's called for the foul there. Clock is ticking, though. They're going to have to put this in play quickly, down to 18 seconds. And it looks like the Panthers are just going to be content to let the clock run out. And they play it in their own defender end, and the clock ends this one here tonight. And the Golden Eagles, you can count it good for ORU. Winners tonight, 6-1 to one over Eastern Illinois on a finely played match for the Golden Eagles. 6-1 victors here this evening. Remember, value check cashing, cash your paycheck without a bank account, open six days a week. They have free money orders, and they do speak Spanish. Value check cashing in Tulsa, located at 2017 South 129th East Avenue, or valuecheckcashing.com. Well, don't forget... Next up for the Golden Eagles will be a home match this coming Wednesday, October 19th, as they take on St. Thomas here at the K Soccer Complex. ORU, fine performance here tonight. And they turn in a 6-1 victory against the Eastern Illinois Panthers. Our thanks to Mark Milner, the head coach of the ORU tennis teams, for joining us at halftime. Also, my thanks to those of you in the truck that are helping out and our camera persons, all the camera operators that are around the uh, field. We appreciate the, their help as well uh, for all these broadcasts. The weather has been fairly good for most of the soccer season. We are now getting into the colder temperatures, so, you know, those camera people will be out there in the elements, but uh, <laughs> we always appreciate what they do, whether it's hot or cold or rainy, nonetheless. Once again, you can count it good for the Golden Eagles. Winners here tonight by the final of 6-1. to one. Thanks for watching. You've been watching ORU Soccer on the ORU Sports Network. Get great seats. Safer, simpler, and smarter with TicketSmart. Choose great seats from over 125,000 live events, all backed with a TicketSmarter 100% ticket guarantee. Get your tickets smarter at TicketSmarter.com. Hello, Glom. I'm Mark Allen. This is my beautiful wife, Zoya. Hi. We got the second ZR2 in stock. Come check it out. He only likes it because it's fast. Darn tootin'. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bill Knight for Bill Knight Ford, and I'm excited to tell you about the Ford Blue Advantage, an easy-to-use service that lets you lock in a guaranteed price on a certified pre-owned vehicle of any make or model. It also includes a 90-day, 4,000-mile comprehensive warranty, 139-point inspection, and all come with an exchange program. Plus, get special 84-month financing now available on Blue Advantage vehicles. Shop Bill Knight Ford at BillKnightFord.com, home of the Ford Blue Advantage. I'm here with PGA Tour winner Victor Hovland to discuss how he's perfected his drive. Victor, how'd you do it? Well, Amanda, the perfect drive always starts with the Don Thornton Automotive Group. I know you drive a Lexus from the Don Thornton Automotive Group, but what if I want to drive an Audi? Don Thornton Automotive Group. What about a Cadillac? Don Thornton Automotive Group. What about a Land Rover, a Jaguar, or a Volkswagen? Don Thornton, Don Thornton, Don Thornton. There you have it. If you want to drive like a pro, yeah, we got it. Don Thornton Automotive Group. 
great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. 